Welcome back to the Friday Night Blitz powered by Pikes Peak State College. What a matchup down south in Class 1A. Banning Lewis celebrated the opening of its new stadium last week by improving to 7-0 this season. The Stallions entered the night outscoring their opponents by an average of 43-7. But they had a big test against an excellent ride team which entered the night 5-2 and, and featured the state's leading rusher in Dylan Hearn. Let's head down to south to Rye. The big time small school showdown early on. Jordan Jones off the pass from Sam Bell for the touchdown. That'll get it going. Stallion's doing work early on and later. Here's that man, Dylan Hearn. Again, leads the state in rushing by over 400 yards. This is a 43 yard rumble or a big run, part of a 43 yard drive for them. But on the other end, oh, not so great. Javon Dean. I'll take that with a great diving interception for Banning Lewis. Then later, Josh George. Hey, man, you do, my, you do me like that, I'm going to take you like that. With the interception. Then later, Bell again. This time, going to keep it up the middle for the touchdown. Banning Lewis stays unbeaten. They win this one by a score of 40 to 6. We've got Fountain Fort Carson at home against Chaparral. Second quarter, Trojans up 14-0. Chaparral driving, Beckett Bacon pressure. Throws one up in the air and it's picked off by Miles McClarity. Great story coming back from cancer this year. Trojans ball, still in the second. Caleb Keats fires across the middle. Keenan Campbell with a great catch. Porter defenders meets him there. Third quarter now, handoff to Matthias Price. And Price, well, the price is right, homie. And then later, Trojan still leading. Price with the handoff, and he's going to score. Fountain Fort Carson wins 35 to 6. We've got Falcon hosting Air Academy. There's your Falcon cheerleaders. And early on, Gabriel McFarland with a great run. Just did and did with a good run down there. That did not lead to points, but this did. Ashton Luttrell fooled our cameraman, fooled the entire defense, in fact, and Latrell on the reverse slips one tackle, then a second, and this dude is G-O-N-E gone for the touchdown as Falcon doing some work. And it wasn't just on offense, they had it going on defense. Ashton Massey. It's like, dude, are you serious right now? I'm taking that. Great play by Massey. Air Academy comes back. Jason Jones is like, fine, bro. This is mine now. But it would be Falcon with the last lap as they take it by a score of 42-25. Pueblo Centennial on the road against Sierra. First quarter, Sierra is up 22 to nothing. Lorenzo Anderson, he runs it to the outside. And that's going to be effective, almost jogging into the end zone after the two-point conversion is 30 to nothing. Pueblo Centennial. Doing some work right here. Good run right there. Don't have a number on that name attached to that number. And then later, he's going to lose the ball. It's scooped up by Sierra, and that's going to be effective. That is a touchdown, and the Stallions go on to win this one by a score of 64 to 6. Palmer hosting Gate Gateway over at Gary Berry Stadium. Joshua Paz showing off the golden toe. That one is good on the field goal. On the other side, Gateway has their kick blocked by a horde of defenders. But then later, Gateway gets a little bit of payback as Mason Aerosmith is going to get picked off right here. And Gateway goes on to win this one by a score of 24-17. We've got Ellicott taking on CSCS. There's your CSCS students. And Will Moore doing some work. Right up the gut, basically untouched for the touchdowns, 28-0 at that point, but back comes Ellicott. Jedrick Howard slips a tackle, breaks it off to the right side. That's going to be a long touchdown run as Ellicott gets on the board and gets back into the game. Howard fired up, feeling it after this play, but too much from CSCS on the ensuing kickoff. Michael Olas going to pick it up, and Olas says, hola, to the end zone. This dude is gone. CSCS handles business by a score of 48 to 12. Liberty hosting Thornton. And the man of the night is Christopher Hunter. I've been watching this dude play for a few years now, and he does things like this. Hunter, 59 yards to the dirt. That's a touchdown, and Liberty doing some work. And then later, Ryan Stibitz 
says, you know what? Come on, Chris, you're not going to have all the fun right here. Stibbets off the rollout with the INT. Liberty back in business. And then later, Christopher Hunter, this time just kind of barely gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Liberty wins it by a score of 49 to nothing. And now it's time 